everybody, welcome to lesson number three in the beginner tutorials for Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to add and format a text box and insert page borders. As you can see, there are some elements from the past tutorial, if you joined us for that, which was adding word art and clip art and formatting our text, which we can change colors, of course, at any given time. What I've added to my document is something called a page border and a text box. A text box allows you to move um, text around the page. It also allows text within text, and I'll show you the difference. Um, if we go back to the sample I showed you um, in the last tutorial, there is no page border. There is just text on the page, but if you were to take text, you can type it into something called a text box, and it just breaks up your page into different um, different areas and you know depending on what document you choose to make. So what I want to start with is how we insert this text box. I'm not going to show you how to do a word art or clip art because um, we've already dealt with that in the last tutorial. I'm going to delete my uh, text box so you can see how I get to this point. If I go to insert and I go to text box there are a variety of different text boxes you can choose from. I choose the simple text box. It's easy, it's simple. And once I click on it, you see that um, there's some text that's highlighted. What I'm going to do is delete that and type in setting, and I'm going to do page one. Okay, and this is just a project that I do in my class. So this is the text I'm choosing. Now, if I click on this text box, I can drag it down on my screen. And these circles and squares allow me to stretch and resize my text box however I want to. So if I click, I can make it the size that I want. I'm going to try to line it up with the other ones that I made, just like so. Okay, and I'm going to move it. Now, I have my first text box. Obviously, it looks a little bit different than these, and I will show you how to format your text box in just a minute. Now, let's say I wanted to create this um, text box over and over again. I can use my editing function if I highlight to make the circles and the squares around the box, and I right-click, and I copy, and I right-click, and I paste. I've now created the same text box twice. I do not have to keep inserting a new text box every time. If I'm using the same uh, text box throughout my document, I can just copy and paste. So now we have our text box and our text inside our text box. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to do a comic sans. I'm going to change the size to be about by 14, and I'm going to bold it. Now that I have that done, I can go ahead and change the color. Okay, you can do this however you'd like. It depends on if you're projecting this up on your screen or if you're printing it out for all of your students to see. It's how whatever uh, you choose to do. I'm just going to do for the sake of showing you. I'm going to stop there. Now, how do I change the frame or the border of my text box? If Again, if I click on the text box, you can do one of two things. You can come up here in the, text, uh, the toolbar where it says Format. Okay, and we can do a variety of different things to our text box. We can change the background color, okay, if we wanted it red or purple. I can change what's called the fill, which means, again, that's exactly what I just showed you. Uh, the fill are the colors that are given here. You can also pick from a variety of other colors that are not available in your toolbar. Uh, maybe I want to use this blue, okay, and if I don't like the text color, I can come to home and I can change it to be yellow. Let's try yellow to stick out a little bit. So again, I'm in format. I can change the fill. I can also change the outline. An outline is the thickness around the text box. Um, I can go to the weight, which is the thickness of the text box. Okay, I'm going to go with um, probably a three point. And I can also in um, formatting, change the color of the outline. So let's say I want it black to match the other uh, text boxes. So now I have my text box. I have changed the fill, which is the color inside, and I've changed the font and the color of my actual text. I can also change um, the shadow. In Microsoft 2010, you can give uh, your text boxes different, different effects. You can have a shadow look. You can have um, 
different, a whole different uh, shadow uh, perspective coming down. You can have it going to the right, to the left, in the back. It's really whatever preference you have. I'm going to have no shadow for this particular activity. Now, I can do the same. All I have to do is click on each text box. Maybe each one I want to be a different color for the sake of projecting this on my screen to show my students. Okay, I can format and I can change each box to be a different color. And I notice that this font, uh, this color rather, does not. There we go. Okay, so now I've inserted a text box. I've changed the border of my text box and the fill. The other way you can do this that I told you there were two ways. You can either come to the format or if you click on your text box, okay, you can right click and go to format text box. And it will take you to the same type of um, choices that you have in the text box. However, this mimics more of the Microsoft Word 2003-2007 version. And again, you can click different colors for your fill. You can change the style of your line. Maybe you want um, a double thickness. Maybe you want a dashed line. Um, and if you click OK, it changes again the effect of your text box. And you can play with this. You can have hundreds of different um, styles and colors with your text boxes. One other option I want to show you with the colors as far as text box and the shape fill is something called um, a gradient or a texture or a pattern. This is something, if you're familiar with uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, these are also different backgrounds that you can use in your uh, word art and you can do backgrounds and things. Um, if I wanted to change maybe my texture to have this green marble, that's what a fill effect um, and you can choose a texture or a gradient. Maybe my gradient, if I choose the color purple, I can have my gradient to be something that looks like that. Okay, again, it's really just a matter of having fun and changing the different styles to how you feel comfortable for your lesson or your activity. Um, let's see, finally um, with this document, I've added a border. I again go to insert, I'm sorry, I go to page layout and I would click on page borders. Okay, this also is another area that you can have a lot of fun. There are many, many different borders that you can choose from. You can change the color, you can change the thickness, you can change the width, you can change the style, and you can add all different types of borders. So what I would do is I want to go to page border. The difference between a border and a page border is a border goes around your text box, and that's another place that we can change or format the style and shape of our text box. For the purpose of this tutorial, I want you to use uh, the format toolbar that I showed you. I want to click on the tab that says page border. Now, I can either do a border that say is just a simple squiggle, and I might want to change that squiggle color to a blue, and have no artwork, just a squiggle. Okay, and there we go, it changed my border to a squiggle border. Maybe I want to have a border that has a thickness, a three point thickness that looks like this. What I excuse me, what I would do is I would click on the one I want and if you look over in the preview menu it shows you what it will look like around your um, document. Click OK. Maybe that's the border that I want. Finally, I can go to page border and I can come down here and I can go to art. There are many different styles of art depending on, again, the theme of your worksheet. I, because I was doing a story map, I came down to one of these black and white choices which it could be color, um, but I came down to a simple border that looks like this, okay? It just had a, a line, and um, where it says width, you can change the width. You can make it skinny, you can make it thick, and you can also, again, change the color. There are so many different options that you can do. You always want this to be around your whole document if you're doing a page border. I click OK. And there you have a page border around your document. If I want to see what it looks like um, before I print, it's a print preview. I come up to my toolbar with this little magnifying glass and I click it. And this is what it would look like as if I were projecting it on my screen or if I wanted to print it out. Um, what I'd like to see you do is practice using our skills from the last tutorial, which is changing the font 
and adding some word art and some clip art, but also adding a text box or two to some sort of worksheet or activity for your students or for your parents or something. Uh, please practice changing the border, changing the style or the colors, the fonts, and um, please upload to our Google site to share with others and also again to show that you understand uh, how to use these skills. And we look forward to working with you in the next set of tutorials, which are the intermediate tutorials. Again, building off of our beginner tutorials and adding some more formatting and some editing techniques to what we already know. Each video is building upon one another. Uh, thank you, and we look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.